Tom Twyford with the West Palm Beach Fishing Club. We've been up here camping in the Greater Orlando cool. area, and we're fortunate enough to uh, catch a couple keeper redfish that we're going to blacken up tonight for dinner. So I want to go over how we clean a redfish and some of the tools of the trade to do it right. Uh, we've been using these Bubba Blade knives here recently, and they're a great tool for cleaning fish. I usually keep a couple different blades around, one for some fine tuning work and some for some heavy cutting like this thicker blade. Um, the thing I really like about the bubble blade is the uh, quality of the handle. It's got this little recessed area where you can stick your thumb and work the, work the tip of the blade through the fish. So one of the, one of the real keys to cleaning fish is to always have a sharp knife. Even the best of knives get dull. So have a sharpening tool and just put a fresh edge on the blade before you start your work. And we're going to make our first cut behind the pec fin, behind the head on an angle, and we go down to the vertebrae there all the way down. I really like this really pointy bubble blade for the purpose of getting behind the skin and pushing the blade away from you down the backbone right along the dorsal fin all the way to the tail and once you get all the way to the tail you simply pop the knife through working the blade down the backbone to the tail and then with this nice bubble blade tip I can run the tip down separating the meat from the backbone all the way down and we're going to cut all the way through working along the edge of the bones and then we're going to go up towards the cavity of the fish until I get to the heavy rib bones and this is where the heavy duty bubble blade comes in handy the really thick blade enables you to get right in there and absolutely cut right through the rib cage back to my fine knife and I cut down the edge of the ribs and separate that from the skin. And then we're going to run our knife blade right between the skin and the flesh of the fish. And I'm holding that flesh down nice and tight so that I can get the meat away from the skin. And we get an excellent redfish fillet ready for a little butter and Cajun blackening seasoning. Yeah.